You know, um, I am so overwhelmed because I think we've been talking about this for many years, and I think I liked Ukoko Dineo the way I believe You know, for a, somebody has monopolized the term. You know, and it's a taboo to even say that. But what you are saying actually it's a remembrance. Look at Bible saying, Abraham." You know, and Uweka Isaac, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the, the God of Jacob. What does that mean? We need to recognize Baobat Zamelin before us, you know. And uh, they're in a speed quicker than our speed. That means that Bamu moves to a different atmosphere. And for me, talking about them, talking about the memories, I think it's a very, very important thing, not only for ourselves, but for the ones to come. There was a thing about the Jews that they've taught, Hori, they, they say that to their children. The children will ask, why are we doing this? And they have an answer, because their ancestors have been doing this for years. You know, they were taken out of Egypt, you know, with a mighty hand. It is a narrative. So talking about ancestors for me is finding our narrative, an African narrative once again. And that's why it's so important for me. And I was so honored to be here. Really, really honored. <laughs> People, you know, they die because of lack of knowledge. It's about time that we start to go back and have these debates, you know. And as an, uh, a, a, um, a lecturer in an institution, for me, it's something that we need to take the institution and start talking about it. I teach on um, African theatre, and I find that how a lot of Africans don't even know who we were the ones, you know, we were the ones who actually inspired theatre. We were the ones who actually started to teach, you know, uh, um, quite a number of people about African heritage. Theatre is a guru. Now we had the griots, you know, which Rabitsang or Gimbo, you know, and this is what I do say, you know. The worker Shashalazi is a space today for, for performance. That thing, those things were sacred things that we used to do. So we need to be teaching our young ones about where we come from. And I think whether people differ with you, it's a good thing, it's a good debate. Let them differ, but you show them. But don't raise your voice, raise your argument. <laughs> I, I think, let's change the psyche. The, the Jews change their psyche. The Muslims change their psyche. The Afrikaners. I'm reading a book on the Heidelberg Catechism, which teaches on the psyche of an Afrikaner when the Afrikaner was still in the concentration camps by the English. Now, we, we forget that part of history. They were in a concentration camp. With us, it has been slavery. What has been our psyche since Rezwa from slavery? After the emancipation, what happened to us? Right. And I think one of the things that it is a sore thing for this government is that something was promulgated about the leaders, you know, the traditional leaders. If we went back to our ways of with the traditional leaders, watch how the dynasty system comes back. The leadership, Henry Heath from many, many years ago, starts to come back. That kind of mindset cannot happen overnight. It's a psyche that needs to be shifted. And yeah, Honali, modern things, we can make it woke. <laughs> As young people will say, we can make our things woke so that the psyche can be well accepted. We don't change the psyche, I'm writing a book right now where I am provoking people for action. Do you know who when uh, 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 Fervut made a statement, a starting statement, when he was doing his thesis of, uh, of, of uh, apartheid? It's a thesis, by the way, that he studied in Berlin. Right? As he was studying this, he says that people must be put into different groups, ethnic groupings, right? And he said a startling statement that a, a swart man can be dunk over five years. We cannot think beyond five years and make those kind of statements to provoke people into action. There's another statement, I write that in the book to put you into action. Do you really think that you need a white man to be able to? So, so you see that exactly my point. So I'm saying those kinds of statements because we have been so impoverished. I say impoverished, not just being slave minded. We are impoverished. The stuff was taken from us, so Saikirana must change to go back there. We'll find many forms. There's digital age, there's, 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 there's new ways that young people are doing. 
the message must go out there to be able to change the psyche of an African.